uh, last Sunday night, uh, we were out in Chicago, out in the suburbs, and I, I saw that our friends from uh, Carrollton and Unspoken were in concert, and uh, said to Debbie, let's, let's see if we can go there. So I sent them a note and, and said, you guys, you know, can we, can we come visit? And so they did, and, and uh, we had a wonderful visit with them, and it was a great concert. At the very end of it, uh, Unspoken, who they, they're just fabulous, at the end of it, they got really, really quiet, and, and Chad, the lead singer, started to talk about the change that Christ brings in life. And as he was doing so, all the, the guys on their instruments started to, to move in close, and they traded their instruments for acoustic instruments. And um, at the appropriate time, Chad started to sing a cappella, and these guys came in with them, and it was just beautiful. And this is what they sang. It's a song that's very familiar if you listen to Christian radio. It's the light that pierces through you to the darkest hidden place. It knows your deepest secrets, but it never looks away. It's a gentle hand that pulls you from the judgment of the crowd when you stand before them guilty and you've got no way out. Some may call it foolish and impossible, but for every heart it rescues, it's a miracle. It's nothing less than scandalous, this love that took our place. Just call it what it is. Call it grace. Well, I don't know whether it's just that I'm getting older or what, but I, I start crying at things like that because all of a sudden I'm overwhelmed. It was, it was a beautiful moment. It was, it was just, just astounding how beautiful it was. But the message, just call it what it is. Call it grace. That's what we do here. That's what we do with communion. It's not a matter of just going through the motions. It's not a matter of going through and, and checking off things that God wants us to do. That's not what it's about at all. This is a time where we remember that the creator of the universe, for some unknown reason, seeing all our scars, seeing all our failures, thinking, seeing all the reasons we could be and should be condemned, reaches out to us in love. That this Lord who sees us as we are gave his life for us. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a miracle. It's grace. Think about that as you hold the bread. Something so simple, <laughs> yet so wonderfully profound. A testimony of God's love for you and for me. A reminder that his body was broken, not because we deserved it, but because he loved us. So take and eat and be grateful. Communion's weird in some respects. Um, it's a sober time because we think of the suffering of our Lord, but, but it's also something that should energize us. Uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I introduced to our Awana kids Jason Gray's new song, Celebrate. And if you remember, the uh, chorus says... I've got two hands that were made for clapping, two feet that were made for dancing, one voice for us to shout with. And, and, and the music started, and you know, the kids did what we should do. The kids started dancing, and it was great. Even the littlest kids just got into it. And I think that's the joy of what it means to be a follower of Christ. We don't always look like joyful people, like right now. Um, but, but we've got every reason to rejoice. We are forgiven. We are forgiven. We are made new. We are children of the King. So as you hold the cup, remember the blood that was shed, but remember what was purchased through that blood.
I've observed um, that when an animal that's usually caged up is able to get out of the cage or the fencing, they don't usually just stand there and go, oh, well, what do we do now? They go out, they explore, they have a good time. Horses will start dancing and, and people, and dogs will wander all over the place, sniffing everywhere all these new smells because they're excited, they're set free. You and I are fenced in by our sin. But Jesus opens the gate. He takes the fence down. He said, I have come so that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. Picture the horse that's enjoying its freedom. The dog that's taking in life. How much more excited and joyful should we be? This blood represents the new relationship with God that is ours because of him. Here's to life.